In Placeta Vela, what we could call the heart of the old town, lies the monument to the Ribera. This character is everyone and no one at once in the history of Benissa. It represents the villagers who, twice a year, left the town to work piecemeal in the rice fields of Ribera del Juca in the province of Valencia, the name deriving from this place. The monument comprises an effigy of a worker praying with one hand placed on a large rock. This rock was located on the road to Valencia, at the last spot from which Benissa was still visible. The action was repeated by the Ribera upon leaving the town when looking back and seeing the old church. He prayed at this rock to receive protection from the patron saint. Riberas wore a blue shirt and hence they were known as Els Blavets, the Blues. With a straw hat, sickle and food bag, they are the symbol of a tradition that began to disappear from 1950, but is reclaimed every year with the celebration of the patronage festival. One of the festive days is dedicated to these people and involves festive acts and the offering of flowers right by the monument. In the same square, and just a few meters from the monument, there are two large manor houses from the 16th century, renovated in the 18th century, as was the custom at that time. One is the Torres house, previously belonging to the Ivas de Polville. The entryway features the family crest of the two noble families from Benissa. It currently houses the public library and the casino. Close by, but smaller, you can find the Juan Vives house. The front wall features writing with pictures detailing the origin of the devotion to Purissima Chiquetta. In 1684, some pilgrims left an effigy of the Purissima in the house and a series of miracles took place there which led to her becoming the patron saint of Benissa.